So the other week when I took you through putting the polytunnel material on my raised beds, I talked about how it was to help protect the veggies in there from the wind chill and the frost and because we were expecting a bit of a cold snap. In the space of about three days of doing that, we got that cold snap. We went from about two Celsius, so you know, above freezing, uh, down to minus eight was our coldest we got. And since then, in the space of a few days, it's gone the other way. It's 10 degrees. It's eight o'clock in the morning. And we were 12 Celsius yesterday. So that massive jump between minus eight and 12 Celsius. It's currently six degrees. My hands are cold because the tripod legs are cold, but yeah, it's nowhere near frozen. So what did that do to the garden? Did the poly material make any difference? It, it was crazy. It, let me show you. So that Wednesday then, when I put the poly stuff on, we were expecting it to drop below zero. We were warned there was a cold snap coming. Now, as usual, I was doing little updates every couple of mornings for our Patreons and coming out not long out of my pyjamas. It was still dark and I was taking them around and showing them the amount of frost on the plants and things. Because what I found was, even though the snow didn't stay, and, you know, the snow's pretty and stuff, but that frost got quite heavy and areas where there had been moisture obviously iced over as we got lower and lower on the temperature scale below zero. So the two beds that don't have the poly material on them, but they actually froze closed. Beds are frozen shut, I can't open them. Because obviously there was moisture and I couldn't open them at all. And the plants in there got to the point where they were really quite icy and looking quite, quite chilly. But that middle bed especially, that's got the hardy plants in it. So that's the plants that generally will grow in the UK and there will not be a problem. And that was fine on the days where I was here in the garden, but the days where I had to go to work and I couldn't be here checking on things, it was that, I won't say nervous or worried, because I wasn't, because, you know, I knew I'd hardly things it would be fine, but it was that excitement, I wanted to know what was going on, um, and I was stuck in Edinburgh. It's 10 to 8 in the morning, and as you can see from my very exciting kit, uh, I'm in work today in Edinburgh. Oh, minus seven Celsius this morning. I'm a bit worried because I couldn't check on my wee plants. Oh, I checked on them yesterday, however, when it was minus six. Oh, the polythene is making a difference. That one I can open, no problem. Everything looks well to you, but you'll notice it's not covered in frost. Big difference from last week. But it was those days that made the biggest difference. So those, we had about four or five days that were down the kind of minus six to minus eight level. And that extended period of time was when the biggest difference happened because up until then, everything had been sitting looking quite well, basically, I'm going to keep saying the words frosty because that's what it was like. You could see all the individual little bits of ice crystals and stuff on things. They had been like that, but they'd, they'd been a bit wilty, but they'd been okay. So we got to the point where the beds had frozen closed and even the greenhouse had frozen closed. Greenhouse is frozen closed. So um, I can't even tell you how it's going in there. All looking good in there. But still, things were looking okay. Like I say, the plants in the beds that don't have a cover on them were looking, yeah, a bit chilly, shall we say. The bed with the polytunnel, however, that did not froze closed, so I could open it and get into it. 
The plants in there are different plants, obviously. They're not quite as hardy. So once we really started dropping, those little guys started looking really, really quite wilty and poorly. The greenhouse, however, was totally fine. No change in there at all. Until we'd had those minus six, seven, eight temperatures over the space of four or five days. And the extended period of that was when it started to wilt down in the greenhouse. And those were the days where I couldn't get any filming of it. I wish I could have got a little bit of footage to show you how poorly it looked. At that point, even I was going, oh, oh, is this, are these plants going to come back? Because in my head, I know they should come back, they should be fine, because the plants go wilty in the really cold weather, because they take the moisture and they take it out of their leaves and stems and things, so that it doesn't freeze, because if it freezes, it bursts the cells and that's what kills them. And generally, when it warms up, they come back again. And I know this, but it didn't stop me worrying. So how did they do then? I'm quite chuffed. Most things have come back pretty much as they were before. There are a few things that are still looking a wee bit poorly and I don't think they're going to come back. And it's like this. So this bed is pretty much all broccoli rab. Not as hardy as some of the other stuff I've got. So you can see it's a mix. We've got some of it is absolutely okay, still going. Some of the leaves are just a bit gone and I'll trim all them off. Others, where they have wilted and they've folded over, you can see it's actually damaged the stem. So from that point onwards, they are not gonna come back. What I could do is trim it further down and see if it comes back from there. But to be honest, Given it's winter and the plants are really, really slow in their grown just now, it's probably not worth it. So what I'll do is any of the plants like that that are totally damaged, they'll just come out and they'll be replaced by other things. The lettuce is an interesting one. I've got two types of lettuce. These ones are more of the gem style lettuce. So the really crunchy leaves, these guys hold a lot of water in their leaves. So they are just looking a bit eh. They're still upright and everything, but they just look like the outer leaves are a bit damaged. The inside's not too bad, but generally they're not looking great. The mustards, they're fine. They're quite hardy. But talking about the lettuce, let me show you the other type of lettuce. So kind of similar thing in this bed then. You see, most of the broccoli rab has done okay. There are a few bits of leaves that are going to come off, but generally it's doing all right. And this is the uncovered bed, but this bit is pretty much sheltered. It doesn't get hit as badly by the wind chill as over there does. So, you know, it wouldn't have been quite as nasty for it here. Um, you can see, here we go, um, pak choy. The pak choy is all looking fine. Again, it's quite hardy, so I wasn't worried about that. But this is the lettuce. So this is the Marvel lettuce I grew, the winter lettuce, and look at the difference. This is also the guy you saw before, had frozen stiff and you saw me tapping it. My only regret is it's the very last one I've got. But yeah, so that is definitely a winner in lettuce fronts for growing out in the cold. It just is perfect. So, outside which veggies did well, which didn't? Land cress or American cress, we knew it was going to be okay. It's hardy, it's doing fabulous. Uh, the lamb's lettuce, again, we knew it would be okay, it's fine. I've only got a few of them, but it's okay. The mustards, again, we knew they would be okay, they're fine. The broccoli rab, that is a bit hit or miss. Some of them are doing okay. The ones that obviously got hit the worst, they have just folded over on themselves and gone. So I've got about half and half for those ones. The greenhouse, whole different game. So let's go in there and I'll show you. So I've put the wide angle lens on in here just so you can see the whole thing. It's not the best kind of way to view things, but it just lets you see it in entirety. So um, 
totally different. So like I said then, the days after we'd had a few days of it being this seriously cold, everything in here had just collapsed. I so wish I could show you footage of it, but really everything you're seeing was just falling over. There was no body to it. It was just limp and soft. It looked like the broccoli rab outside. But as you can see, it's come back. The broccoli rab in here is back and doing fantastic. Mustards, tat soy, more mustards, pak choy, more tat soy, chard. It's fine. It's all looking fantastic. The only thing that's looking poorly is a tarragon, which is a warm weather plant, so that's understandable. That's gone dormant. But yeah, um, it just goes to show you Adding the little layers of protection is fab. It did make a difference. I could see that the, the plants in there weren't as icy. Obviously, it has its limitations, though. We're in a proper big greenhouse here, which is designed to hold as much heat as possible from the sun and to heat up much quicker. And you can just see it's made a difference. How long all of this will last, I don't know. We'll just have to keep checking back and seeing. At what point will the little mini polytunnel hoop house thing on the raised bed stop making any difference? I don't know. We'll just have to see. Those temperatures, the minus seven, that's roughly the temperatures we expect to be getting in late winter, kind of February to early March type temperatures. We don't normally see them at this time of year. So I just don't know what to expect. So I guess it's just a big adventure we're all on together. And as always, I'll keep you guys up to date. But um, the one thing I did learn from all of that is don't put off harvesting if you're planning to harvest and eat things. Because once that freeze hit us, I couldn't harvest anything. And I had planned to use all that broccoli wrap. Um, so that's a bit unfortunate. Yeah. Sigh. But a bit of tidying up to do, because obviously any of the leaves that just look awful like that, you want to get them taken off. That's what attracts all the pests and the disease and all that kind of nastiness. So a bit of cleaning up to do this weekend, because it's not meant to be freezing cold, so that's good. Uh, and then we'll see. So not everything died. Pretty much, I think it's better to, than we expected, if we're honest. Yeah. It's almost the end of this year, guys. I've got so many plans about what I'm going to be doing next year. I'm going to be growing some new things. Take you guys through all as usual. So, until next time, see you folks!